Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we uh, had finally got back to Janine after doing all that business in the lab. Now, Janine has given us her card, so we can finally start exploring the residential side. Now, I actually remember being fairly fond of the residential side of things. I'm looking forward to going back here. So, without any further ado, we have to head back to Lab Town. And she's actually moved, which really screws me up. Is it W that we're going to? I don't know, man. I don't know. No, W is the nap room, apparently. God damn it. And I'm really tempted now <clears throat> to get an upgrade for my Dreamcast. I just don't know what one to get. I don't know, man. I'm thinking about going for the power supply because that makes sense to upgrade that first. But I also like the idea of the SD card game loader. And no. So we had three choices to make, guys, and we fucked up. We made the wrong choice. Because, hey, that's what we do. So I guess S is the way back to Lab Town, which is what we need. Also, I'm hoping that you guys can't hear my fan. I have a very small USB powered fan. Um, attached to my monitor but I have done the tests the graph according to the audio graph it's not being picked up so <laughs> I don't know right anyway let's go back to lab town and go to Janine's digs oh hello friend now I would ordinarily say you're not worth fighting but you know as it's been a few days a week since I played more or less I think Yep, we definitely need the practice. And I need to turn my headset down. Jesus Christ. That was deafening. Uh, I suppose we'll pick his coins up off the floor. Why not? Um, right, back to Lab Town then. The door is locked. And of course I would choose the wrong door. We want to go through door A because that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. No? Oh, for God's sakes. I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm definitely rusty. Elliot, you should know where you're going by now, dude. You know what? You're not worth fighting. You literally just piss dribble a couple of coins out onto the floor. And that ain't worth my time, my friend. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to fast forward this bit because you've seen this about 755,000 times. So I'll catch you guys in Lab Town. And welcome back to Lab Town, guys. So, <clears throat> what I was thinking, seems we're so flush with cash right about now, why don't we make a stop off at the armory and pick up some weapons, huh? Why not? Uh, I'm not really sure what there is left to buy. I guess we could get the acid gun. I was going to do a video, like, off camera, wasn't I? But, I mean, you know, we're here now. And we have loads of money, so... Why not treat ourselves? We've been working pretty hard, and let's not forget, it's Christmas. What do you do at Christmas? You buy yourself something nice. Something you've had your little eye on for a while, you know? Something shiny and juicy. Now, in Elliot's eyes, that's a nice big weapon. So, let's have a little look, shall we? Now, we could get dogs a new t-shirt. You know, Elliot could treat dogs to a new t-shirt. T-shirt that will give him uh, funky powers. Yeah, we have a little bit more than $3,000 dollary dues, my friend. Open the door. Get that shit open, boy. Now, let's have a little look in here, shall we? Um, now... We... What do we have? We could get the laser gun. In fact, the laser gun is the only weapon here that we don't have. I like the laser gun. It's interesting. What else is there? That we don't have. I know there's the plasma gun. The iron fists are a bit pap, to be honest. But I guess we could get... At least, you know, I haven't played this for ages. I remember them being pretty shit. We've got... Yeah, so I guess really <clears throat> we could drain out all of these weapons. We could... 
We're going to need some batteries for our laser gun, although we already have found one. One good thing with the laser gun, actually, is that the ammo capacity for it is pretty impressive. I don't think the damage is that impressive. But the, uh, yeah, the damage output for it is very nice. <clears throat> so we've just literally blasted all of our cash. Um, you know, I... I guess that was probably the right thing to do. Let's get some more ammo too. I want some laser batteries. I think they're cheap. Uh, ray gun. No, that's the ray gun. We don't have a ray gun. Alright, I guess we can't actually buy a laser ba gun battery here, but you know, we've got some on us, so that's fine. We've literally blown all of that cash. Not enough cash! So, let's go and try our new weapons on some unsuspecting fool. All right. <clears throat> hey, friend. How would you like to say hello to my fists of justice? You know, that's not bad. Might not do crazy amounts of damage, but it does seem to stun them quite nicely, which is, you know, pretty cool. Let's put a fresh battery in the old laser gun. Let's give this thing a whirl. See how long it takes to fry this thing's ass. Oh, God. Yeah. It's, as you can see, it's not the most powerful weapon in the game, but it's fun. It's a really fun weapon. It's one of the really high-tech weapons that I liked. It gives the game kind of a, <clears throat> dare I say, cyberpunk sort of feel, I guess-ish. Especially running around with these, like, petrol-powered face smashers. So, yeah, it's interesting. Well, we've got some dogs down here, some mutant dogs. <clears throat> so let's try our brain bursters on these. Come on, pup. Where are you? There you are. Come on. There we go. Rev them up. Come on, hit the red line. There we go. Ah, not bad. Because we know most melee weapons aren't that fantastic against hitting these guys. Whereas these actually... Kind of. <laughs> he just smashed his fucking head off. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Come on, fur. Come on, sir. Ouch. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think I think the results are fairly inconclusive. I don't know how good that weapon is. Um, we need we need more testing. I think. Let's suck down a large hassy whilst I suck down a large relentless. Oh, that's the stuff. You know what? Suck down another one. You're going to be pissing for weeks, Elliot. Uh, go for a large. Why go for a small when you can have a large? <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, so the ladies... Ah, actually, we haven't read the description of our new weapons, have we? How rude of me, sir. <clears throat> Uh, I do apologise. I've got a really crappy throat at the moment. <clears throat> it hasn't been good for the last few days. <gasps> COVID-19! No! Or yes. Depending on your um, perspective. Uh, info. So, Kim Tech. Tech Master. This high-powered laser gun is very light and easy to handle but has a slow trigger response due to the time it takes to build up a charge before firing. Yeah. But it's fun, you know? So, short range, Iron Fist. Uh, KIF 4500E, Iron Fists. These Iron Fists were designed for use in the demolition of buildings. Really? That doesn't seem safe, because... You know, if you're inside a building, smashing the shit out of it. Uh, yeah. You know what? Hey, this is the future. The future of 2019 or whatever it is. I don't even think it's that far into the future, to be honest. Right, well, let's give this thing a dose of laser. Um. Well, they weren't Duracells, that's for sure. Although I use energizers. Come on. There we go. Let's kick this thing's gelatinous, juicy ass. Try not to eat any of this one, Elliot. 
You remember last time? The whole purple monster thing? Yeah, let's... Ow! Let's not have a repeat of that, shall we? Now, obviously, we don't actually have to fight this thing. Uh, we could just, you know, walk on past. Oh, what am I doing? We bought Dogs' uh, T-shirt as well, didn't we? No. Happy birthday, Dogs. Uh, weapon. Dogs. Wrestling T-shirt, I believe. Yeah, info. Dogs loves to wear this T-shirt because it makes him feel like a professional wrestler. Oh, my. Hey, hey, hey. Gotcha! Uh... Oh god, drop kicks! <laughs> what the hell? This game is so silly. Whoa! No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, I'm not convinced that attack does too much. Oh, look at that power stance he adopts. Looks like a fucking champion. All right. Okay, I like it. I approve. I approve. We need some more souls. Souls to practice our new moves on. Now, does this come out at the cinema? It doesn't. Oh, God, we've got another ball. Uh, well, yeah, this seems like a stupid idea. Yeah, that was probably stupid. There are no stupid ideas, people. Uh, dogs, do you want to like. There we go. There we go. And we're stuck in a corner. That's not wise. Come at me, fool! Okay, I think this thing's a bit bigger than us, dogs. I'm just saying, buddy. Oh, wow. We just, like, donkey punched it in the rear end. <laughs> you know, I never understood the, uh, the melee combat in this game. Like, sometimes... Uh, like, I don't know how that you do the different moves, if that makes sense. Because sometimes you'll do like a little punch, sometimes he'll do like a running jump type thing. Other times he'll charge at the enemy. There's no real way of telling what you're going to do. Uh, run dogs. Fool. Well, hopefully the railgun will dispatch this thing. Oh god. Really losing to the camera angle here. Cannot see. Whoa, he can seemingly turn around pretty quick. Oh, God. Hey, you didn't even touch me then, you son of a bitch. And what we will do. Hmm, I don't think that's doing an awful lot of much, to be honest. Let's get the gat gun out, shall we? There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Uh oh, run. Nope. Maybe not. Dogs, what are you doing, buddy? Wow. This one's definitely a little bit tougher than the one we fought last time, isn't it? And I don't think Dogs is a very smart uh, smart character to use it. There we go. Brilliant, Dogs. You probably could have run out of the way. Oh, fucking hell. This is going well, isn't it? This is going really well. Yeah. Maybe Elliot's the best choice here. And again, like I said before, that kind of illustrates why Dogs is a bit useless. Oh, God. Sadly, Dogs is just too slow at most of the enemies. To fight most of the enemies, I should say. And you can see the hitbox in effect there. Really doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh god, I don't even, I was gonna say I don't even know where he is. I can't see. I can't see what's going on. Oh god, yep, yeah, can't see. Can't see, can't move. Stuck in the environment. Typical blue stinger. Uh, well, let's bring out the big guns then, shall we? Let's wait for him to go past. Brilliant, Elliot! That was fantastic! That was, that, yeah, yeah. Another one like that, Elliot. Not literally, you tit. Oh, God, you're, you're a moron. Okay, he actually ran into that by pure accident. Elliot, you're a slow child. 
I think your mother would be very disappointed. You're a very slow child, Elliot. Let's have a hamburger. I was hoping he was going to get stuck in that little um, offshoot there. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. There we go. Yeah. Alright, that's not too bad. Uh, if he's going to get stuck there, can we just manipulate and use something useless? If, if Elliot would actually shoot. Oh no, he can still hit us. That's it, guys. The shotguns is kryptonite, I guess. Oh, well, that was awful. That was that was Blue Stinger in a nutshell right there. Okay. So we have... Ooh. Blood. Blood Bee? Is that Blood Bee? Well, we've got those monsters that we've been fighting. It seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Pretty sure we can't go. Ah, hey friend. Yeah, pretty sure we can't go into the cinema yet because we need a key card or something. Elliot, please. I know what would have helped this game actually. Some kind of lock-on system for the enemies. I've got a feeling a lot of those coins are gonna fall into places that we can't get. No, no we're okay this time. Alright. Uh, okay, so what's out here then? We've got a door that we can't apparently get to, which is interesting. What's through here? I think through here. Really? Is this an area that we just straight up can't use? That's strange. Unless that guy is literally there just for us to farm. What's in this vending machine? I'm going to say it's probably food. No, okay, it's movie tickets. Yeah, so he's probably there just to just to farm. Okay. Just in case you get here and you have no money. You inserted the movie ticket. Let's go to the movies, guys. What's on? Anything good? You got Blood Bee? Razor heart. What else have we got going on here? Blackland. Uh, and love target. Ugh. Well, blood bee sounds good. Blackland, I wouldn't mind to try. Look at these copies of like the Dolby D licensing. That's kind of cute in a way. All right, anything up and over here? Any secrets? No hassies? No big giant garbage bags of popcorn or anything like that? No, I guess not. Okay. Now, I remember um, there is a screenshot of the game on the back of the box. Ooh, something's moving. Oh God, with the quickness. Yeah, these guys. These guys with the cool shirts. I think they're the best pair in the game memory serves or one of them I do remember this room being really good to farm whilst the sound glitches out badly there come on you come on give me your coins good man all right yeah there's a screenshot on the back of the box for this game and it's fighting a big dinosaur type dude in oh wow look at all these coins yeah fighting a big dinosaur dude in a cinema screen which I thought as a kid looked really awesome and badass and uh, it kind of is so we made quite a bit of cash back already uh, dogs no we want food you fall can you tell that I haven't played this for about a week because I bloody well can <laughs> All right, let's start having a look around, Drew. Um, ooh, yeah, a box of railgun ammo. Not bad, actually. 
We'll certainly have that. Uh oh. Oh, not you. I don't like you, Squirtle things. Did I say Squirtle? I mean Weedle. Okay. I think we have discovered that these do a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. The door's locked. That's cool. Because, um... The act oh no. The actual swords weren't that effective, if I remember correctly. Oh man. Oh, yeah, fighting aerial targets in this game is really hard. I mean, if you look at that thing, you would have thought like. A semi-automatic shotgun would rip that thing to pieces, but it doesn't. Oh no, I was just about to feed us up as well. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Couldn't even hit the thing. Right, okay guys, I'll catch you back here in a minute. Couldn't even hit him. Couldn't even hit him. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is where the uh, the combat system itself really... I mean, I, I would say it shows its age, but the combat, um, the lack there of a lock-on system or anything, was actually garbage at the time. And it just it's just aged poorly. The game is still fantastic. It's a brilliant game. But fighting some of the, the smaller flying creatures, the game isn't designed... To fight them it's really annoying anyway guys enough of my whinging i'll catch you guys back there in a second <clears throat> hey guys right before i do anything else i thought why not go to the gun shop and buy the two weapons that we haven't tried yet we'll go for the acid gun and we shall go for the plasma gun and technically that still leaves us enough money for the Get a couple of acid tanks as well. Like so. Not, yeah, not too many, I guess. Uh, plasma, yeah, plasma's expensive. But it is good. Um, you know. Alright, get some of that. Laser gun batteries as well. Why not? Because I'm going to go buy the laser gun as well. And then we have all of the weapons apart from the... The fists and the t last t-shirt, the wrestling t-shirt for dogs, which, to be honest, I don't really care about. So, you know, there's that. Let's actually switch up to the acid gun. The acid gun's pretty rubbish from what I can remember. Oh, God. Why did none of these guns come loaded? Damn you. Yep. That literally just sprays acid in their face and slowly melts them down. I mean, I guess it's not terrible, you know, it's, it is what it is, it's, it does the job, I guess. Now, let's get out here, and back in here, and we shall try the plasma gun out as well, because why not? The plasma gun, I do remember enjoying quite a lot. But again, this was a very long time ago, so how it's actually held up, I have no idea. Don't get many rounds, though. Alright, let's load that sucker up. Oof. Oh, that thing seems to have a little bit more of a kick to it. And it does push the enemies back nicely as well. Yeah, the plasma gun's very powerful. Wow, yeah. It kind of feels more like a shotgun. <laughs> it feels more shotgunny than the actual shotgun, funny enough. So, yeah, I, I actually highly approve of the plasma gun. Uh, should we even bother buying the laser gun? Or should we just keep the extra bit of cash with us? I don't think the laser gun's really that useful, so... But then neither's the plasma gun, to be honest. Uh, that they are a waste of money to be a hundred percent honest with you, but for the sakes of showing them off We've now seen all of the weapons There, there really is a few weapons that aren't worth bothering with uh, I would say that's the plasma gun the shotgun, but you get that for free the um, Laser gun ain't really worth it. 
either, to be honest. The fists, I don't think, are worth it. None of the t-shirts are worth it, if you ask me. Because using dogs isn't that useful in general. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to pause it now and I'll meet you back where we were. Not that I really think there's going to be too much point because we're already on 25 minutes. So <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you in a second. And we're back, guys. Right, so we're back into the cinema. Also, I did that a lot easier this time. Uh, circle strafing him with the railgun. Way more effective than last time. Also, I did have a thought. Why do we insert the cinema ticket into the gate there? That seems a little bit strange. Surely you would hand it into, like, either somebody working on the desk or an usher in one of the rooms? Ah, I'm thinking about this too much. Anyway, let's go to a different door. Through a different door, I should say. Oh, God. Um, I don't know what we're aiming at. We're aiming at them, I guess. Oof. Well, they're not very pretty boys, are they? Well, they're toast now. So, staff only. What's in here? Um, I guess this is like the projection -y room. Kind of. With their fancy digital technology from the future. Uh, do you not have anything on you? That's kind of strange that there's a staff room here, but you don't give me anything. All right, well, we're not going to question it. Maybe we need to come back there later. I don't know. Now, boss music. Ah, this is the room that I was thinking of. Yes. Uh, brilliant, Elliot. We'll make a retard out of you yet. Now, I don't know why this guy has kind of like movie posters or something all over him. Kind of seems a little bit weird to me. These things seem to be made up of whatever the hell was in the room when they were produced, I guess. Uh, should we go with the acid gun? I guess we could use all of this up and see if it actually serves a use. Uh, Elliot, why are you just firing that in the wrong direction? Yeah, this thing's really not doing an awful lot of anything, is it? Now, uh, I remember thinking that this fight was kind of anticlimactic because he can't really get to you unless you let him. But see how much health this thing's got. It's got crazy amounts of health. Now... I appreciate this game was literally made by a handful of people, but I guess quality control and, and testing wasn't really high on the priorities list. But that's okay. It kind of makes it what it is. But it is interesting sometimes thinking about with a little bit more polish, this game could have truly been one of, uh, one of the greatest. Um, well, okay, maybe not the greatest, but it could have definitely been up there. Um, one of the better early survival horror games. And nice try, Milado. And now you've broken the cycle. Nope, now we're just going around the opposite way. Okay. Yeah, which is a, a bit of a shame, really. Um, I mean, it's the little things, like the ability to actually hit your target. Uh, the camera angle. If they had tightened up the camera angle. Yeah, look at that. Like, I swear when you're in a big environment, aiming and shooting at your target is just absolute pot luck whether you hit it. It really is quite quite bad. But they focused on uh, some interesting areas, like having an ass ton of weapons. Admittedly, a lot of them don't seem to be that useful. Um, let's go for the bazooka. Let's see how much damage this bad boy does. Uh, did that hit? I don't think that actually hit. That hit. Oh, that hit. Yeah, he actually seems to be aiming at it. Me and my big mouth. He was aiming at it until the point where he wasn't. Oh, God. Did, no. Yeah, there really is no... Like, even if you aim directly at it, 
point blank. It's still very hit and miss if, if he's actually going to hit it. The monster was holding something. You got the stairway switch key. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah. This dude is literally made out of movie posters. Or at least he's covered in them. I'm not really sure of the context why. Maybe it's because he's like bashed through there and there was loads of movie posters attached to that. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I guess we can climb up here for some reason. I don't think we can do anything with that. What does this do? Do you want to push the switch? Yes. Yes, We. you hear something behind you. Was it something good behind us? Oh, right. Yes. So that now is going to lead down. All right. That's cool. We can walk down here like Elliot shit himself. It'd be nice if there's a save room or something. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, box of railgun ammo and a hamburger. I mean, that's not it's not the worst prize in the world, I suppose. They eat a lot of hamburgers around here, don't they? I guess that's okay. I wonder if they're dinosaur burgers. What else would they really have on Dinosaur Island? And... Well, that just kind of went on forever, didn't it? Oh, son of a bitch. Right. Swallow that, you bastard. The door is locked. Don't have the card key. Really? Is there nowhere we can save the game? There's got to be somewhere around here. Let's switch back up to the handgun. I really don't want to waste anything too decent on these things. They're definitely not worth rockets. I don't have a huge amount of ammo, to be honest. Yeah, even though I was looking at the target then, he still decided to shoot the wall, bless him. He really is a bit of a smooth brain. But that's okay. I'm looking forward. Actually, I've been watching um, Reaver of Jill Sandwiches play a game called Extermination. And I'm actually really looking forward to giving that a go. That's a very interesting survival horror action game, I guess. I mean, it's not really purely survival horror. It looks bizarre, to be honest. But a good kind of bizarre. Alright. So I guess we can't go into that room either. Nope. We do get key cards, I think, from... Ah, for most of these rooms. Yeah. You found an acid tank and a large hassie. Well, that's great. That's just what we wanted. Uh. Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah, thanks for stun-locking me into the... Really? It's literally stun locked me into the corner there. Ah. Uh, I think we might be going down. Yeah, let's change to dogs. I guess that's how they decided to deal with dis difficulty in this game. They just decided to put enemies in the game that you can't hit. Come on. Right, so he's just taken two railgun rounds. They so took two railgun rounds to put down. Come on, dogs. Hit it, please. Thank you. Okay. Ah, right. This leads... Oh, no. We're on the other side of this room. Oh, God. Um, stun locked. Kill them all! The only good bug's a dead bug. Remember your training, and you will make it back alive. Kill them all! Huh. Obviously shouting Starship Troopers motivational quotes. 
seems to be the way to get through that bit. I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all. <laughs> right. Please can I have a save room game? The door is locked, but that's fantastic. That is great. Thinking about it, I think we can just jump down there. Um, I don't want to try it because we haven't saved it for a thousand years, but I think we can. I'm getting a slight image in my head of that. Oh no, 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 why, why? Come on you monkeys! Uh oh. I think we got him. Didn't need any Starship Troopers quotes that time. We just needed lots of rail gun ammo. That door is also locked. This door is locked. You do not have the card key for this door. Really? Uh, this might be a very long video because there's no save rooms. No save areas. No, I just tried to jump down there. We can't. Uh, right, so back the way we came then, I guess. At least these are the sort of enemies that don't respawn. So there's that. I am guess... Oh, God, you respawn, no? You are rapidly exhausting all of my railgun ammo. Also... This is kind of a prime example of where, like, the weapon damage model in this game just seems really random. Like, let's take the Gatling gun. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You would have thought a rail gun would be a really powerful weapon, but it doesn't really seem to be. I don't think they balance the weapons very well at all. Maybe, well, they probably didn't balance the weapons at all, that's why. Uh, can we? Oh, don't make me go down that obnoxiously long ladder again, game. Uh, oh, God. Um, I guess I, I guess we fell down. Okay, we can fall down that ladder. Curious. Uh, right, okay. So... What have we learnt here today, ladies and gentlemen? We've learnt that we need key cards. And we're nearly on 40 minutes. And there's uh, definitely nothing in this room at all, which is really freaking bizarre. No key cards, nothing. Strange. And I am really out of time. Uh, right, so we know we've got to go through there, but I can't really go through there because I don't have time. Because we know there isn't a save room for a little while. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go back to the Hello Market and I'm going to save the game. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. Tomorrow I'll have a lot more time to sit down and record. <laughs> this video has been a bit of a weird one. All we've really done is uh, play with some weapons, go to the cinema, defeat a giant ball, defeat a weird movie-going T-Rex... Uh, yeah, actually, we've accomplished a few things. We've shot some bugs out of the sky. That was fun. Now, how's Elliot? Is Elliot in a bit of a bad way? Yeah. Was you saying yes, agreeing? Yeah, you are in a bad way. Well, we do have just the item for that. We have a nice fresh hamburger that we found on the floor. Yeah, all right, Elliot. Those animations as well, those long-winded animations when you uh, consume some food also don't seem very necessary. But it's all part of the Blue Stinger jank, you know? And uh, this game certainly wouldn't be the same without it. And I also love the fact that when you walk through a, <laughs> a transition, I guess, to the, a new area, Elliot will randomly change direction. And I believe that's why you actually have to get uh, a few steps away from a door or transition zone before you can go back through it again. Uh, instead of correcting the, the uh, movement angle of the character, they decided to 
add that in so you wouldn't instantly walk through a door and then as soon as the screen loads walk back through it again ah oh, blue stinger we love your jank anyway guys thank you very much for watching and when we come back we are going to go back to the cinema and hopefully find some more of these coveted key cards that we so badly need so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time